Hello everyone. Recently, Happy Cabby made another video where he fucking refers to me on his facepalm response channel. He did so in the blog post, not uh, verbally in, in the four minute video. But it's a really fucking long blog post that uh, a lot of people with a brain have been dissecting on Facebook. Um, you know, people that, that fucking matter because Happy Cabby, um, I'm going to say this flat out. Happy Cabby is no longer taken seriously by anybody who watches YouTube for intellectual discussion. Happy Cabby's subscribers now comprise mostly of people who are fans of mantit juggling. Okay? And that's his own fault. Okay? Lying about other YouTubers is something that will make all of the YouTubers that, that come together for community despise you. I will no longer be a part of anything that accepts Happy Cabby's help. I don't care if it's MSF. I don't care if it's feeding children in Africa. I don't think, care if it's a fucking AIDS benefit. I don't care. If Happy Cabby's a part of it, I'm not going to be a part of it. Okay? That's how much I despise Happy Cabby now. I will find some other part of the internet for me to be a benefactor of something else. Now, I'm going to go ahead and address all of the lies of Happy Cabby's most recent set of lies. And you can tell a really bad liar when their story keeps changing, especially about their motives. Right? We all know that this shit between me and Happy Cabby started because I treated Nick Bravo like a fucking human being. And I listed his flag just alongside everybody else's. Right? I've even listed Happy Cabby's flags after having all the, these problems with him. Okay? But I'm just going to go through some of the things that he said in his blog post because they're fucking outright lies. And he might fucking edit his blog post after this, but they're just going to be more lies. Just like the fucking last time I fucking came at him with shit in his blog post that was about me. He just polishes the turd a little bit differently. And it's always to try to make himself look better and never fucking own up to his own smelly shit. So here we go. First, he's talking about the, uh, the, the thumbnail on my Flags Recap series, talking about, you know, no false flagging censorship. Um, and saying, well, that says that all of your, your, your flags that you list in there must be false flagging. Nobody fucking buys that shit, Happy Cabby. It's already been addressed. It's now in the disclaimer because you're a fucking dipshit and you can't fucking understand things. So I have to have a fucking disclaimer that it, it, if I read it out in the video, it takes two or three fucking minutes. Okay? That's why it's listed before you get to the, the flags anymore. There's a fucking disclaimer saying, no, I'm not promoting people. Not all of the videos here are false flagged. Even the term false flagging is something like some people might believe a video was false flagged and the people who flagged it won't believe it. They'll believe that they legitimately flagged it. You know, it's fucking nebulous, right? But you keep on grasping at this, you know, for a, a sad fucking attempt at having a point, okay? You have no point, just like you had no point when you were accusing me of being a defender of pedophilia after fucking feeding me the links that ended up in my fucking list. The links that you like to peruse before you fucking flag. You fucking sicko. Alright, so... And then you wanted to fucking say that the, the, the fucking sick words you came up with, you know, the sick shit that you fucking wrote, like, these are just, you know, enthusiasts of young girls' channels. And you want to you wanna fucking say that, that was my, those were my words when you're the fucking sick mind that came up with that shit. Oh my goodness. That still burns me. Anyways, uh, let's see. He is implying to the viewer that the flags he's reporting were false flagged down and that it was censorship. That is a fact. No, it's not a fact. It's only your opinion. Nobody else fucking believes it. Um, let's see. Another flag threat 
throughout of his this series. Blah, 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 blah. For example, he once listed me as being responsible for flagging down a video that was still up. No, I list all flags. When videos get flagged, okay, they don't have to go down. They can get an age restriction, okay? They can go down and then be appealed and come back up, all right? So... Let's let's just see this. Uh, he once listed me as being responsible. Uh, let's go to this flags recap video that's that, that's in the link, right? Oh my goodness! I did what I do sometimes. I just list the fucking name of the video. Proof Brett Keen and Happy Cabby flagged me by Biz Market. Okay, that's the actual title of the fucking video. I'm not listing Happy Cabby as being responsible. I listed the fucking actual title of the fucking video. I do that sometimes. You know? So here's the actual fucking video. Duh. Oh my goodness. If Happy Cabby ever says anything about me and gives a link to try to prove his case, just click on the link because his ponage fails. Just click on the link every fucking time. If he's talking about Twinkies, click on the fucking link. Seriously. Nothing he ever tries to back up ever pans out. I shouldn't have to make this video. I wish people would just click on the fucking links that he fucking provides because he disproves his own fucking case every fucking time. He's such a fucking idiot. It was never flagged down. I don't just list videos that were flagged down and removed. I list videos that get flagged down and get put back up, and videos that get age restriction. Ugh! A few of my subscribers even pointed this out to him. Now, this one really fucking burns me, because just like Helen906 is fucking provably a fucking sock account of his, and I have more to say about that in this video later, This a few of my subscribers even pointed this out to him, is also false because this is provably, you know, with with a bunch of, of circumstantial evidence, this is a fucking lie because the person who points it out in, in the description here, let's see, do to do to do, do, do. And, and it was a lie back then because he knew it, that the, that the video was just fucking appealed. Uh, let's see, click on Miss Ebony White. I reply to the Reply Girls, and the videos on this Miss Ebony White account, none of which uh, have any Miss in them, that they're, they're all cartoons, right? No real person, and it, uh, apparently this person doesn't like the Reply Girl, or uh, Megan Speaks, and this was all a year ago. Hmm, who had a problem with Megan Speaks and the Reply Girl about a year ago and was maybe having fun with go animate hmm looks like another fucking happy cabby sock account you know and we could look at the fucking diction of the of the poster and, and compare that to happy cabby we could go through all that shit all right i'm just going to say that just because one of your sock accounts lists a fucking point that was fucking a lie back then doesn't mean a few of your subscribers even pointed this out to me. No. It means you're a fucking douchebag again. Alright? In this fucking blog post, you go on to say that uh, it was... that this whole fucking th problem that I have with you was a setup where you and Brett Keen were involved, and so because Brett Keen was involved, you are no longer guilty. Right? Because that fucking logic holds up. But you also say that Helen906 and one other person that you don't want to name were involved, right? Um, still have not produced Helen906. Just like fucking Ashes the Raven hasn't produced Della Winters, you haven't produced Helen906. And, motherfucker, I can prove that you approached another YouTuber to get her to act 
like she was Helen 906 all along. Okay? If you have to go try to get someone to act as this person, and nobody will do anything for you because you're a douchebag and they all know it and they all fucking jump from the sinking ship. You you just need to fucking quit. Alright? Fucking come clean about your shit. Do I need to bring this person out, Happy Cabby? This person that you approached to play Helen 906? Do I need to? Moving on in this blog post full of fucking shit. Uh, let's see. Furthermore, he would often promote the new channels of people who have been flagged down. Uh, I'll give them out, but it's now in the fucking... <sighs> it's in the disclaimer now, because you're a dumbass. It's not about promoting. <laughs> okay. Granted, I have done the same when I feel it's warranted, but some of the people he promoted, such as Mikma, caused me to scratch my head. Why would... Okay, it's not Mikma, it's the Mimica. And why would the Mimica make you scratch your head? Well, the Mimica had a problem with Brett Keen, but uh, right now, outside of the Flags Recap, I will promote the Mimica. Okay? I believe his, his latest channel is uh, 4Xs, the Mimica, and then 4Xs. Anyways... Um, nobody else has a problem with the Mimica. Uh, maybe a couple cult people um, that, or or maybe Von Helton, you know, people that uh, get repeatedly pwned by a whole bunch of people. Um, I stand by any promotion of the Mimica, even though I wasn't promoting it with my Flags Recap series. I don't promote... Rob Lester or Gluteus Illuminatus either. I list them. Fucking list. And I can say this all fucking day. You're just too fucking stupid to get it. Um, and then, here, here's where his story fucking changes again. We all know that, that the reason why this all fucking started is because he got butt hurt because I treated Nick Bravo like a human being by fucking listing his flag next to everybody else's. And I said that he claims Happy Cabby flagged him. And by saying he claims, Happy Cabby takes that as, Oh, you're saying that I did it. No, I said he claims. Okay, but now Happy Cabby is, is pointing to a fucking uh, recap video of mine from October 27th of 2012. And here's where he falls flat on his face. What was the relationship between uh, Happy Cabby and Brett Keen on October 27th. Go through all their fucking videos of when they were fucking, you know, attacking each other, then friends, and attacking each other. And you'll find out that if this was the reason, this October 27, 2012 video, just like he says in his blog post, that this is what got him to thinking, well then, uh, for a couple months there, Brett Keen wasn't involved. <laughs> this was all Happy Cabby's design. You know, and getting Brett Keen involved does not mean that Happy Cabby is off the fucking hook when we prove that it's his fucking diction and writing that fucking was submitted to me by the Hella 906 account. It just proves that he got one other person that he was hanging around with involved. You know, and that other person came clean about all this stuff. Happy Cabby still can't come clean, right? Anyways, it's a bunch of bullshit. Um, I will go find my other part of the internet to exist on because I don't want to be around Happy Cabby. I don't want Happy Cabby to fucking talk about me ever because he only fucking lies. And if he changes this blog post, it's just going to be full of more fucking lies. I don't want anything to do with him. Anybody with a brain doesn't either. And they're, they're discussing how much they don't want to have anything to do with him. All over fucking Facebook. Um, and those are the people that matter. The people that uh, 
are, are going to watch Happy Cabbie's videos from now on, they're going to be mantit juggling fucking enthusiasts, to, to borrow a phrase from Happy Cabbie's hands. Um, and, and nobody who fucking matters, as far as any intellectual discussion here on, on YouTube, is ever going to hear Happy Cabbie's name without being pointed to all of this fucking ponage of him and all this exposing of him. His own hell of his own creation is now that if he wants to entertain his subscribers, his base, he's going to have to jiggle his mantids. And that's all he's ever going to be good for. <laughs>